Beauty by Damaris and today I have a great video for you guys. I will be doing my top 10 products, drugstore products under $10 and I thought this was a great video to film for you guys because honestly there are a lot of drugstore products out there that are just as good as high end and I do have a couple of favorites and I'm pretty sure you guys would like to know what are my top drugstore favorites. However, this is also a collab with Nikki Murphy, and Nikki Murphy as well is a YouTube blogger here on YouTube, and I decided to collaborate with her because I love watching her videos. She does amazing hauls, reviews, and the best part of it all, she does rants. Not a lot of YouTubers do rants. She's the type of person that she does not give a care in the world if she shows her expressions and let everyone know how she feels. And I like that about her because she's very real and she doesn't hide, you know, what she needs to say. So there's not a lot of people that are very real like that or that will come out in front of a camera and say exactly how they feel, when they feel it. So I really appreciate that about her and I love watching her videos and I'm pretty sure you guys will love her as well. So definitely go check out her top 10 drugstore under $10 because I'm pretty sure she has amazing findings because she does a lot of drugstore haul shopping so I'm pretty sure she has great findings so I will definitely link her video down below so you guys can check out her video and please also subscribe and let her know I sent you over and now if you guys would like to see my top 10 under $10 drugstore products please keep on watching the first product that I will be speaking about are these Milani blushes and these are the rose collection blushes and these blend so great and they're very pigmented and they're worth it um they're under ten dollars and the packaging is to die for and let me just show you one up close so you guys can see this color is gorgeous i love it i'm gonna just swipe it so you guys can see how it blends um that is what that looks like um, they're very pretty and they're very pigmented. They blend very great on the cheeks and I love these blushes and if you guys have been watching my channel you already know I am a big fan of the Milani Bake blushes and this is one of my favorites actually. This is Rose D'Oro and Rose D'Oro, I can't even open this, really? Come on, let's get it together here. So this is what Rose D'Oro looks like. And it is a baked blush, but trust me, oh my god, there's nothing like these blushes. Look at this blush, how beautiful it is. See that? They just so pigmented, and for a drugstore product, these blushes are amazing. So you should definitely check these out. If you've never tried them, you should definitely purchase them because they're worth it, and they're amazing. And these eyeshadows are my top, top favorite drugstore eyeshadows. And these are the Milani Bella eyeshadows, and this is what they look like. They're beautiful. The packaging is awesome. I love the packaging of Milani. Uh, I love the gold. I'm a big gold fan. But these eyeshadows blend like magic, and they are so pigmented, and they're worth the money. Um, I will definitely list the price and all the links for everything that I speak about, but I'm going to swatch one. And this color is Bella Rouge. And this is a beautiful burgundy color, like pinkish burgundy. And look how that looks. Look, look at that. Look at that color. I really love these eyeshadows because they look like foiled eyeshadows. They have like that metallic look to them. And they're just so beautiful. And they have so many different combination of colors that you can choose from. And yeah, so I definitely wanted to share this finding with you guys because if you have not tried these, you're missing out. I do have two drugstore choices, but I'm going to include them into one. And the first one is the Milani Matte Lipsticks as well as the regular Milani Lipsticks that first came out. These lipsticks are amazing. The consistency of these lipsticks go on very smooth. They don't feel like a very dry matte they feel like a very nice moisturizing matte and i just love the color and the pigmentation and the smell of these lipsticks are off the hook the matte ones smell like vanilla 
and the statement lipsticks which first came out these smell like watermelon a lot of people may not like that fruity scent however I don't mind because these colors are great I'm just gonna show you like maybe two swatch so you can see how they swatch this color right here is called matte glam and this is a nice purple matte color and this color is so amazing and it blends so well and that's what matte glam looks like and yeah and the colors are so beautiful I'm telling you guys you definitely gotta check out these Milani lipsticks they're worth the money my favorite one is matte confident and matte naked and matte confident is like a beautiful red color it's like a beautiful red wine color that's what it swatches like it is so gorgeous and then matte naked I'm just swatch matte naked for you guys so you can see what it swatches like so this is matte naked and it is such a beautiful brown tone color and I just really really love it because it's kind of like that trend that's going on like that Kylie Jenner trend color and it's so beautiful it is such a beautiful like nude brown tone color I love it it is a color that you can actually wear on an everyday basis and these yeah. are great also because the bottom of the colors of the lipstick shows and I'm telling you they're true to their color so whatever color you see at the bottom that's the color of the lipstick that's what I really love about the Milani lipsticks as well I had to show you the Maybelline matte collection because these are amazing as well and these are drugstore lipsticks touch of spice is a very very popular color I mean everyone raves about this color and I truly can understand why it is such a beautiful Kylie Jenner color as well it is your 90s type of color and I've been enjoying this and this is what it looks like in close-up for foundation the one that I chose is the new Maybelline fit me foundation and this is what they look like actually this is the new Maybelline fit me poreless foundation and the dewy smooth I combine these two together when I apply my foundation and I love the consistency of this foundation it works wonders it does not feel cakey on the face it applies on smoothly and it covers well it covers your imperfections very well and it lasts for a very long time and I just really have been enjoying this Maybelline fit me foundation so if you guys have not tried this out you should definitely try it out it is a great drugstore foundation and I give it a ton now for concealer you already know what is my favorite drugstore concealer if you've been watching my videos and that is the Maybelline fit me concealer and this is very inexpensive as well and it works just as good as a high-end concealer it does work very well at covering underneath the eyes the dark circles and I also use this to highlight as well I do have the color medium and I have the color actually this color is deep fonts and this color is sand sable so this is the lighter color and this is the medium color and usually I apply the medium color underneath the eyes and then I apply the lighter one to highlight my face and I really really love this product because it does a great job at concealing your dark circles and it does a great job at highlighting as well and this is a great concealer for you guys that don't want to go and splurge on a MAC Pro concealer this is a great alternative to the MAC Pro concealer and yeah so definitely get your hands on this because this is amazing my holy girl eyeliner from the drugstore it is the liquid eyeliner which is that NYC and this eyeliner is amazing and it's very inexpensive I find this for sometimes a dollar ninety nine depending where I go and it is a very thin precise um, liquid eyeliner that you apply with a very thin brush and it is great to create a perfect wing it is amazing for that and trust me it does not dry like uh, like most eyeliners do with that shiny look on it this one has a matte finish like it is it dries matte it doesn't dry like with that shiny glossy look I hate eyeliners like that um, most of the wet and wild eyeliners are kind of glossy well this one is not and it's definitely worth trying out and this is my favorite drugstore liquid eyeliner my holy grail so you should definitely check this out my holy grail mascara is the telescopic carbon black mascara 
and this is what it looks like guys it comes in this long tube and I really enjoy this mascara because of the wand the wand is very flexible and it does a great job at separating the lashes and making them look very full and I really love the fact that this mascara is also a very dark black color and I like it because it is flexible to bend it and even just to get the bottom lashes separated it works amazing so I really love this telescopic carbon black by L'Oreal mascara if you guys have never tried this mascara you should definitely pick this up it is amazing if you guys are looking for a great bronzer then I would definitely recommend the NYC smooth bronzer and this is what it looks like and this is a great bronzer to bronze your skin with and even to like contour I really love the way this bronzer applies on and it is very inexpensive and it blends great so you can definitely purchase this under $10 at a local drugstore and just to show you how it blends really really quick um, I'm just gonna swatch here see it's very like very nice and tan this is a great bronzer to tan up your face if you just want to tan it up and even like if you just want to give yourself a little contour underneath the chin or on your cheekbones this is an amazing amazing drugstore bronzer and it's very inexpensive you can find this for like $1.99 or even $3 at your local drugstore so I definitely recommend this NYC smooth skin bronzer now if you guys are looking for cheap alternative brushes you definitely should check out the new e.l.f. line, which is these black brushes. They come all in black with the black handle. I think, I believe these are the Pro brushes, the e.l.f. Pro brushes, and these are only $3. $3. You can't go wrong with just purchasing brushes for $3. And they have a powder blush, a foundation blush, they have the blending brush, they even have the concealer brush, the eyeshadow brush and a mineral powder brush an angle brush for your contouring and like if you can use it for your contouring or even for your blush and i really love this one which is the elf complexion brush because i apply my powder with this and it works amazing and these do not shed i really love that about these brushes i wash them once or twice already and they do not shed and they stay the same and they feel really really soft on the skin and they blend perfectly so only three dollars for each brush like even if you want the foundation brush which is a stipple flat top it's only three dollars you know if you can't afford that sigma flat top kabuki definitely check this one out and purchase this one and you can find these at target and i believe you can also find them at walmart um they do sell them at walmart as well so these are amazing and you should definitely check these out for setting powders if you guys are looking for a great setting powder that's very inexpensive you should definitely try out the stay matte press powder and this is what it looks like and you pull this plastic out and it has the powder this one right here is the natural powder I do use the natural and the translucent and it works great for highlighting underneath the eye for setting your concealer for setting your foundation it is amazing and it's only like three dollars which is definitely worth it and you sh you never try the setting powder you should definitely try it because it is not cakey it does not apply on cakey or it just applies perfectly and it blends in your concealer well and it does mattify it and lasts for a very long time so i definitely recommend the rimmel stay matte press powder so this is pretty much it for this video and don't forget to go check out nikki murphy's video after you're done with this one and also if you're not subscribed please don't forget to subscribe because i have a haul coming up pretty soon and i do not want you to miss on the next upcoming videos and remember guys i heart you all and i look forward to seeing you on my next video bye guys